Hey guys, Captain Ken here. Hi, Miss Kelly. Uh, what are we doing the video on? I forgot. Uh, we're gonna share how much it costs to cruise the Bahamas. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so we just got back from three months in the Bahamas and we wanted to share pricing with you. We're gonna go over the list that we compiled. Um, we have some receipts that we, with the real-time pricing so that we can show you some of those on the video. And we'll go over one, one by one of every item, what it costs, and we'll do a little clip of the receipt at the end and if you need to pause on it, you can see uh, and get some real-time pricings on that. I did want to say that the pricing varied from island to island, but also from the same island. Um, we would get in some places, the pricing on eggs were like uh, $8. And a week later, they could be $4. So, so the pricings here at these particular stores can change from week to week. So take it with a grain of salt that this is just a sampling. This is what monies we spent, and we wanted to share that with you guys. Yes. Okay, guys, first thing on the, the list is uh, the cruising permit was $150 for us. Um, that's for vessels up to 34 feet. Yep. And it was $150 for three months. Uh, next was our internet service, the Alive Cell Plan, $460, and that was for the three months. But that was the... Um, a live box mm -hmm. it's a little box um mm -hmm. kind of like a hot spot box right yeah uh it worked perfectly all over the bahamas except for on major crossings but if we had internet connections we would run up the mast in a dry bag and we got coverage pretty much everywhere yep, it worked great uh next would be our groceries and drinks that total is one thousand two hundred twenty four dollars and thirty eight cents so that's money we spent on groceries and alcohol drinks <laughs> So the $1,200 um, for groceries is hard to kind of calculate in there. It is in our total budget. But if we sit on the couch at home, we're still gonna wind up eating food. So how much does that really calculate into our, our cruising budget? But it is in our budget as a, in the total. Right. And the fuel cost was $1,032.10. Uh, on the fuel cost, we motored sailed a lot. It seemed like every time where we went, we were going into the wind, but we um, did a little over 950 nautical miles on this round trip. Marina uh, was $70. We did one night. We stayed one night when we checked in in Bimini on the way over our first night. Right. Mooring ball was $30, and that was in land and sea park. Sea park, and the rest of the time we anchored the entire time. This cost can change depending on your needs and your wants. Uh, obviously, you can stay in marinas, and that that cost is going to climb pretty fast restaurants we spent six hundred eighteen dollars and thirty cents i did want to say that in that amount we were at the regatta the sailing regatta in georgetown so we probably went out a couple times um <laughs> just to celebrate with that um but that seems about right because that's what it was last year trash disposal sixty four dollars and forty cents um that fluctuates from place to place some places are free some places yeah, was ten dollars so uh, as they have to get rid of the, the trash somehow. Uh, laundry, we spent up $109.60. Again, that varies um, from place to place. And you did all the laundry yourself, right? Yes, you there can. Are, there are services that allow you to, to drop off. Drop off around. Uh, car rental, we actually shared with the buddy boat. So the car rental was $80 plus a tip and, and, and tax, uh, but we rented it all day for 80 bucks. Right. Uh, cave excursion, that was $35. Um, almost everything in the Bahamas we've done was basically was free. Yes. Uh, but there were places, uh, Hamilton Cave is I think is what we paid to get in to see that. And it was well worth the money. Again, our total was $3,838.78. We want to say this is for us. I mean, some people might stay in, some people might choose to stay in marinas, which is fine, but this is what we spent. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we are in Georgetown. We just left the grocery store, which is at Exuma Market. Um, just wanted to share a few of the prices. All of this was $60.95. Okay. The milk was, half gallon of milk was $5.19. Let's go down the list and all. Uh, the eggs, $5.49, dozen eggs. Cream cheese, $5.59. Black eyed peas, $1.89 a can. Uh, tamales were $3.29 a can. Uh, the corn 
McMuffin mix was $1.19, which I thought was a bargain. Uh, the shrimp, which I didn't know why he got that. Uh, $5.32. It's going in the pasta with the uh, clams. So okay. The shrimp clam pasta. Okay. Scampini or something. That was $5.32. The bananas were $3.72. Uh, mango, $1.99. Limes were $0.89. Cents and tangerines were $0.79. Cents. The most expensive thing was that block of cheese. Uh, $11.99. Just another tidbit. This Exuma Market in Georgetown is very well stocked, so it's a great place for, for uh, reprovisioning before you head south or go back north. And yeah, we're gonna do a walk around at the store later on when we go. $269. Bushes, baked beans, $299. The hamburger helper, $509. $1.75 for sweet corn. Oh, so one of the things I wanted to tell you is like Fruit Loops, $9.99. But if you like the uh, off brands, like um, the essentials, $5.29. So if you're stuck on name brands, it's kind of kind of pricey. So essentials, flowers, three sixty nine. Paper products is what people buy on. Yeah, paper products is expensive. Fiora, paper. High dollars for a roll. High dollars a roll for bounty. So sliced cheese. $7.89. Side of ribs. Hey guys, it's, uh, we are in Georgetown again. We just fueled up and I wanted to go over the pricing with that. It was $6.19 for non ethanol gasoline. Prices for the one in shop right mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was in another um, grocery store, a different one here in Georgetown. And there's two and a half pounds of uh, chicken wings for 607. And a five pack of pork chops for eight forty three. Boat chores? Yeah. Getting a few. Brown's Marina. Uh, so we're at uh, Long Island Petroleum Distributors. Six dollars and thirty-three cent a gallon. Hey guys, so we're on another island. We're in Cat. We're on, we're on Cat Island in the outer, the family, the outer islands. On the outer islands, and we just did a three-mile round hike on uh, for uh, some groceries, supplies, and want to go over the prices of them on this island. I'll go down the receipt. And you just point. All right. So bacon, eight ninety-five. Eight ninety-five for bacon. Eggs, seven ninety-nine. Brussels sprouts, $7.95. Two potatoes, $2.42. Chicken wings, $9.61. Uh, bananas, $2.76. That quart of milk, $7.25. No, the milk. Oh, this milk? $7.25. Cereal, $6.95. Two Klondike bars, $7.95. 
Oh. Oh, we ate the ice cream. We ate them on the way back. Four ninety. Cherry tomatoes, four forty four. Uh, fettuccine, three seventy five. Fettuccine. What's flits? What? Flits. Oh. Spaghetti. Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Carrots, three fifteen. Uh. Baby wipes, five ninety five. Cocktail, cocktail, uh, three twenty. Pigeon peas, two thirty. Whipping cream, you're going out of order, sir. Whipping cream, ooh, that was the twelve twelve seventy five. We almost didn't buy it. Hey, that. but that's our dessert stuff that yeah. we make. So, uh, can of pineapple, four twenty five. So a grand total with tax, uh, one oh one thirty. So it's a hundred hundred dollars right there on the table. And but I think we here's, did pretty good. A, here's a look at the receipts so you can see what we bought. But did you think that's pretty good overall? I mean that was this was supposed to be a pretty priced yeah, uh, yeah, grocery yeah. store. Um we're, we're trying to give you this so you can compare from island to island and give you an idea. So this is what we got. Eggs, five sixty nine. Cheese, six forty nine. That's not bad. Hot dogs, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Hot dogs. Biscuits, four forty nine. Uh, sausage, seven six nine. Hot dog buns, seven thirty nine. It's Twelve count. Yeah. Uh, yellow cake mix for my rum cake. It's gonna be four oh nine. Everyday pudding. A dollar seventy nine and the peppers. That was the most expensive. It was ten dollars and forty nine cents. All right, guys. So we wanted to share that with you. This uh, some of the prices down here in the Bahamas. We are in Georgetown um, for this uh, particular grocery shopping. Um, give you some idea of what it's going to cost when you come down. What well, the prices here? Two nineteen. Oh, this place has got a really nice selection. Eggs. Two seventy four. Medium eggs. Two fifty two. You cannot beat the prices here. Hey everybody. So we made it to a Luthera and we wanted to go over some pricing in the grocery store. Um, I'll show you around this little walk around on some of the things right in the uh, in the store itself. But when we go over what we bought today or yesterday actually. And Miss Kelly's gonna read off some pricing and then I'm gonna show you what we bought. A dollar forty uh, avocados, a dollar forty nine each, uh, lemonade. $8.99, pepperoni $6.99, Canadian bacon $6.49, yellow popcorn $2.49, cereal box 52 ounce $14.49, so, okay. $14 Philadelphia cheese $3.89, red onion $2.29 per pound, that's how their stuff is, is per pound. Uh, potato $2.99 per pound, tortillas $6.59, and ginger beer $5.99 for a total of $73. And then their VAT tax is 10% here. So that's $6.64. We'll do a little um, close up of that in case you want to read it. You can pause on this video and, and look at the pricings for it. There you go, guys. There's a recap of our 2023 uh, season in the Bahamas. That's a three months event. Um, hope you get a little insight and maybe to help you out on when you're doing your budgeting for your uh, cruising down in the Bahamas. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram or Facebook at SV the Cricket Anchor. See ya. See ya.